Wow, wow, Yay. wow, 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 wow. Now, that's a different way to sing that a is Christmas. That is very neat. Definitely, totally rocking it out. <laughs> and, and, you know, we need to talk about who he is. Right, you know, right. John is from the group. Petra. And Petra is from our generation. From the back, back in the old days. I, I don't want to say old days. Let's just talk <laughs> about back in our generation. There back in go. our days. Oh, uh, yeah. Not say old days. <laughs> well, maybe but... you remember Petra. Petra was a mm -hmm. leading, it was, they were a rock and roll Christian group mm -hmm. that burst onto the scene and just did a tremendous job in, in the rock and roll world talking about Jesus. That's and, right. And these men loved the Lord. Right, mm -hmm. they sure John did. John loves the Lord. He's very dedicated to the Lord. And he's singing that from his heart, but he's singing it in his own style. That's, That's right. right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's important, you know, for generations to reach out to other generations. And I think that style of music draws a certain people. <laughs> we right. just had a stink <laughs> Yeah, I just got sunk in the, in the face. But anyhow, it's important that the music, regardless of what style, you know, we're not here to worship the music style. We're here to worship the king. And if it comes mm -hmm. through rock or contemporary or Opera jazz, or jazz. Yeah, yeah. it's yes. like mm -hmm. let's enter in and worship God. That's right. That well, totally that's, is that's right. What, on Cornerstone, you get to see all kinds of different music, all mm -hmm. kinds of different preaching and teaching, all kinds of different ways to be encouraged. It's, it's, it's interesting that we had Marianne, who was here singing yes, opera, yeah. mm -hmm. and then with John singing rock and singing the same song. And what if we mixed them together? <laughs> Well, that's, that's the value of, 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 of Cornerstone because we bring to you all kinds of different styles and flares. That's right. Some of them you love, some of them you may not so love, but right. somebody loves them, and that's why we bring them. That's what Cornerstone's love is. You know, Russ was a, a big supporter of giving people alternatives. That's why mm -hmm. light music was started, that's and, right. he, and he, it wasn't his kind of music. But it was the music that people connected to, and Absolutely. they made a big change right. in the lives of a lot of young people. So right. this, that's our roots. That's our that's history. Right. Well, you know, in Scripture it says, let everything that have breath praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. And Amen. I feel I love music, but there mm -hmm. is just something about music and singing and um, just, and so all of us, we may not have the best voices, but when we sing, I think it brings healing to our bodies and to our soul, and it, and it mm -hmm. lifts to the spirit, and it connects us in ways that we just can't define. So there's just something about, about that, especially well, Christmas, too. When I, that's what I was just getting ready to say. This is our Living Well segment, and in mm -hmm. Living Well, we talk about things that makes life better. Mm -hmm. That's right. And in the Christmas season, when we're celebrating Jesus' mm -hmm. birth, mm -hmm. one of the things that helps make that better for me is singing in the Christmas carols right. and the radio stations that just play only That's Christmas right. music. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like they're singing Christian music because many of them are about our Lord and Savior Absolutely. Jesus Christ mm -hmm. and he's the focus. I love to go shopping and hear mm -hmm. Christmas caroling mm -hmm. music. I it's do, just, too. it makes me buy more, play it all year long. <laughs> <laughs> well, I grew up where we did Christmas caroling, and I just love that when we get together and we sing some Christmas carols and mm -hmm. the hymns and the stories behind it. It just, it does something to your spirit, and just even listening to it, it does something. So I encourage our, our family out there, mm -hmm. just get involved and start right. listening to some music, listen to some music that raises your spirits up talks about the birth of Christ, O come all ye faithful, and, and away in the manger, and O holy night. That does something to you. That's scripture that's breathing into your soul and your spirit through music. It really does. That's a great, that's a great word of encouragement. If you feel blue and depressed and you feel like your, your Christmas isn't going the way you want it to do, then I think that's a great uh, uh, advice. Turn on the Christmas carols. Turn, turn them on, listen to them, sing along with them. And just enjoy. That's right. Enjoy the enjoy the holiday of, of, of the right. celebration right. of mm -hmm. Jesus' birth. That's right. You know, another form of worship is giving. Yeah. So I mean there's different things we can do, but living well. So we talked about the music and how it's mm -hmm. important for to reach all generations, you know, not just mm -hmm. We should just play one style, but we need to play for sure. the generations, you right. know, for all that can hear, because drawing the harvest is the most important. But then another way of worship is giving out of ourselves. Mm. So, you know, for what we do with ministry, we have a certain backpack program that we feed um, 50 kids from the McKeesport area. 
weekend meals. And so what oh, we're doing wow. for Christmas is mm -hmm. they will each get this big plush teddy bear and some lotion and um, body wash and chapstick that's in nice. with their food bag. Oh, so I'm so excited nice. to be able to hand those oh, out yes. to them before they go on their Christmas break. Absolutely. But that's a form of worship. You know, if you have a way that you can connect maybe in your church or to a, a local mm -hmm. group that's giving out it's a form of worship to Absolutely. God when we give of ourselves. Mm -hmm. well, we, we, with our children, we've had different philosophies of gifts. Right. You know, the mm -hmm. Christmas gifts. And, and our family, our extended family, how do we, how do we celebrate with them mm -hmm. by giving? Absolutely. Giving gifts. And, right. That's you know, putting different parameters together. And Terry's got one this year. And explain to the folks at home the three gift thing. Oh, um, well, we've always done three gifts because right. the wise men bless Jesus with three gifts and so that's how we've that was a rule of thumb that we would do is that they all got three gifts and that helped us in terms of how much to purchase right. what to purchase right. and you know and so that that was a great parameter for us and then uh, you know that's always very helpful and and the other way of in terms of giving um, sometimes when you're on a budget and you just can't do it, we would try to be more creative in that. Um, we would have our kids write a story or um, just write a note to say how much we appreciate that person or just a, a gesture in that regard because I think something like that goes a lot further right. than a gift of, um, you know, that may never be opened, right. you know, especially for older folks, you know. That, I think that's something they appreciate. Something from the heart. But now this year, some, this is the three that you, at least I think I remember right, something that you can wear. Oh, that was from Mom Talk, yeah. Yeah, something that you can wear. Wear, you need, you want, some, and to read. Something you need, you want. And you, to read. And something to read. Yes, that and, was, I got that tip from Mom and Talk. And then there was a third one, which was a surprise. Well, I made that up. Oh, you made that one. <laughs> well, somebody made up the Mom she Talk one too. <laughs> Well, that's Christmas. Christmas is really from the heart. And before we close this segment, I, I, got, I got an email. Can I oh take boy. just yeah, a minute? Sure. I got an email. Okay. It's not on the same topic, but kind of yeah. it is on it. This came from, I won't read their name, but the message is, hi, I listen to your program from time to time. I always hear you say the word Lord, but you never say his name. Which Lord are you talking about? The Lord of the ring? Hmm. Lord of darkness? The Lord Jesus? You don't say his name. Is it because you can't say it on TV? Well, no, that's not. In fact, we say the name Jesus all the time. It's the mm -hmm. Lord Jesus Christ. That's who we're talking Amen. about. There is no other name that every knee is going to bow and every tongue is going to confess mm -hmm. that he's the Lord. And that's the Lord that we're referring to. Every time you hear me say Lord, you're, I'm saying the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And, and that's, that's who we're talking about at Cornerstone. Mm -hmm. No other confusion that he is the Lord Absolutely. and he will reign forever. And we're so great, it's so grateful that he's our savior. Absolutely. He can be your savior too. If you don't know him, he's your savior. If you know him only as a historic, a, fic, a, a, a story from history, then there's so much more to Jesus Absolutely. than just history and just Christmas. Amen. He wants to be your savior. Amen. He wants you to walk in victory. So mm -hmm. all you can just reach out and touch him and go, go to him. We're going to talk more about Jesus, the Lord Jesus. Happy what, birthday. Happy birthday to Jesus. Yeah. When we come right back.